Hey everybody, Adam Hill Vending here in uh, Tampa Bay. I wanted to come on and make this video for uh, a couple reasons, three reasons actually, but I just left uh, an account that called us through uh, online, they got our number, called us, it's an eye center, okay? An eye center, laser, cataract, all that, but they wanted vending machines, okay? They wanted vending service. So I'm gonna go over uh, a number of different aspects that are fresh right now so that if you get an account or get a call, stuff to look for, stuff to uh, keep in mind. So you wanna watch this video, save this video, okay? Um, especially if you're new and you don't know these things. So online call, Hill Vending, we uh, you know set an appointment, go out there today, meet with, um, the director there and they already have two machines uh, in a building so it's a surgery center there's a the eye center and then there's a surgery center connected by an overpass a hundred plus uh, foot traffic per day and 50 employees so what they're doing right now is they have two machines a snack machine a drink machine uh, from 1960 from 1960 and they are doing it themselves i saw they were selling candy bars for 50 cents chips everything's for 50 cents terrible they didn't they just were tired of it tired of doing it so um the first thing is to look for is that foot traffic you want to find out how many employees how many guests how many visitors uh, are coming through there every every day or are there on a constant basis okay the second thing is they have the two buildings they were they wanted they have two right here in this building and they wanted two more over here what they don't understand is machines they understand this but machines cost a good bit of money okay you know thousands of dollars to just buy all this equipment so um uh, you know thinking about it understanding it understanding get everything that they want that they want out have them uh, before you make any decisions so see the space the other thing is the space where they wanted machines they had no outlet they had no outlet so you have to understand the people who are not in the vending business or do not have accounts or you know don't understand vending it's an eye center they they, they operate on people's eyes they don't know, understand anything about vending machines so they're not thinking that, of course, they need power. Um, so this location had no power that they wanted it, but they're doing remodeling right now. I said, it's no problem. I'll have a drop a line and put an outlet right there if we can do this. So uh, they're gonna have to add power. So that's another thing. The foot traffic's number one. How many people are there? The next thing is um, the space. Does it even have power? Is it, is it, is it in the middle of a doorway? Like just because they say they want a machine here, does it actually gonna work in that location? Um, the other thing they wanted is they wanted like sandwiches and cold food, not happening. We're not, we, you don't wanna do that. You wanna try it out, test it out, make sure everything's good before you commit to the cold food game, okay? So um, that was it, they, they wanted the electric uh, drop down. So what I propose, this is what Hill Vending proposed that we're gonna do. We're gonna start, here's another thing. Here's the last little caveat that made me interested in this. They actually lease a couple of the other spots of the building to a home health company that because of the Rona, they're out, but they're gonna come back and that's another 100 people. And they're rehabbing, remodeling another space that another company is gonna move in. And the two machines in this that we're gonna put in this building are gonna be in the main center there, okay? So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna install a either four or five wide snack machine, 721 drink machine, where they need the power dropped at that building because it's the main building. People from the surgery center, the visitors, the people waiting in the waiting area can come across. There's an overhang where they can come and get uh, drinks or snacks. And we're gonna try that out, okay? Pricing, they were selling for 50 cents. I said, hey, listen, we have to, we're not gonna be able to do that. Hey, yeah, whatever you wanna charge is fine. Whatever you wanna charge is fine. So don't get too thirsty and overcommit to, you know, 50 cent chips or 
bad pricing, especially now when the prices just keep going up. So um, those are just a few tips. If you want to get a vending account, if you have a lead coming in, coming in and you go to the location, just realize that most of the time they do not know what they're talking about with vending. It's not a bad thing. It's just they, they don't do it every day. And they're selling candy for 50 cents when it costs 67 cents. So they're losing money on vending. So you cannot take uh, guidance from them. And if you're not aware of that, this video is going to help you. Watch this video again. Do they have power? Are the doorways wide enough? Did you bring your measuring tape to measure where you're going to put the machines in? So all these, um, all these things that you may not know because there's not a lot of information out there letting everyone know this. So the first thing you want to check for foot traffic. The second thing is don't overcommit to space. Do not give them four machines. Start with two. If that goes well, yeah, we can expand. And then number three is, uh, uh, don't, don't over deliver on uh, the products that they want. Get your pricing right. Don't give them sandwiches and all that to start. Get your pricing right. And the last thing is I didn't bring up, I didn't bring up one time, uh, a contract not one time contracts in my opinion don't matter service is what matters so make sure you're providing that great service and you'll keep the account another additional bonus tip is the distance from the back of the truck to these machines is 12 feet under an overhang we can pull up the truck go right into double doors fill the machines and go not going up elevators, not going through hallways. So it's an in and out quick account. So that's a benefit too. How, how long is it going to take you to service this account? So I hope these tips helped you guys. If you have a question um, that I did not get to about this, uh, this location, let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Would you take this account? We're going to try it out. We're going to see. Not sure yet if I'm going to go in with card readers or without. Make sure this, the cash sales warrant me putting the card readers on. Probably will, just to make sure. Um, so yeah, Eye Surgery Center, that's another account example that you can uh, potentially potentially get. But it doesn't matter if it was an eye center or a custom cycle, computer repair, building shop. The numbers are what matter. Employees, foot traffic, location, does it have power, was the pricing, all this stuff um, are things that you have to keep in mind. Appreciate it, guys. Wanted to hop on, make this quick video. Have a question, drop it down below. But remember, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh. Have a great day.